got a 1998 Chrysler Town & Country. It is gold with the uh, gold beige interior as well. Ooh, this one's pretty dirty. Uh, what do we got in here? What do we got going on? Oh, we've got full instrument panel with a tack. We've got, looks like all the wood grain trim. We've got a factory Chrysler radio, the fancy one with all of the audio adjustments. Oh, we've got dual climate control, AC. Oh, we've got the overhead console. Uh, mileage, we've got mileage. In July of 2023, so two months ago, it had 181,611 miles. So it did, uh, actually that's when it was due. So, approximately that much, and I just ruined it by touching it. Uh, this is like a, I haven't seen this before with this beige color. It's, it's like, a, it's not just around the, the trim bezel around the cluster. It's brown. It's not black. It's got a brown trim right here. Uh, we've got power logs, power windows, and power rear windows as well. We've got fog lights. We've got more wood grain with this speckled gold. Got the infinity sound system to match that infinity stereo. We got nothing fancy, the cup holders, a couple screws. Nothing fancy in the glove box. We've got a note here, what's this say? Uh, Vision Works phone number. Sticker here, it says nothing now. We've got lights in the vanity mirrors. Uh, here's a, looks like somebody pulled that whole rear window out, which is why this trim panel is laying back here. It looks like we've got second row buckets, a third row bench, headliners down. Ooh, I see money. Oh, we got the big bucks in there. Yeah, look at that. pretty gross. Nice. Pretty rusty. Well, it looks like the air filter or something was changed at 95,000. I wrote it on there. Uh, pretty greasy. It looks like it had a pretty bad valve cover leak. Oh, that belt. Yeah, pretty war. Well, it's, not, it's not that bad. Alternator may or may not be a remand. I don't see a Denso sticker on it, so it probably is. AC clutch is free. No rust on that pulley. It was running recently. What do we got under here? Eh, kind of... Kind of milky looking, coolant. What's left in there? Freshly drained is still, you know, residue all over the cap. This one just came in not too long ago. It's got that fancy Chrysler front grille with the uh, additional blinkers. Pretty rusty on this side. It looks like it's only got the, just a little upper fascia, fascia molding doesn't have the full body molding all the way down before you see this rust. Here's a view of that window that's been taken out. Very nice. Very nice. It has the dual rear hatch lights. That was an option. Usually you only got one. Here's our rear bench. It's an LX town and country. That is in okay shape. Here's our rotten grommet, as they all are. Walls are Chrysler. It's a Minnesota vehicle then. Oh, it's got a KYB rear shocks in it. Those look pretty new. Those are nice. I bet, I bet you those are good. Looks like it's got newer uh, brake lines uh, going up to the front. Those are those are custom. Custom homemade bent. Uh, it looks like, however, the that's what's weird. 
is the rear lines on the axles are still original. At least they're OEM, put it that way. Yeah, so it's got new lines coming front to rear, but original on the axle. Usually the axle ones go first. Get no spare tire. The holder's been cut. That would have sucked for me. That was a, that's the harder to find style too. Um, that's completely flat. Then there's two styles of those rear spare tires. Uh, ones that have like a bend to them, and they I don't know if it's it's I don't know when the change was made, but I find those ones are harder to find. I needed to find one of those for my '97, and it took me quite a while. But that that would have been a sad day for me. But we're good otherwise, so it's fine. Um, what do we got going on here? Yeah, so there's where they got their rear lines going in here. Let's look at those shocks. Yeah, the rockers are just gone in this. The exhaust looks original. Not bad, I don't like the interior color. Let's look at our 1998 Chrysler Town & Country LX.